Paddington's Post. <coughs> Mr. and Mrs. Brown first met Paddington on a railway platform. In fact, that was how he came to have such an unusual name for a bear, because Paddington was the name of the station. You're a very small bear, said Mr. Brown. Where are you from? The bear looked around carefully before replying. Dark as Peru, he said. I'm not really supposed to be here at all. I'm a stowaway. After collecting their daughter, Judy, from the station, Mr. and Mrs. Brown took Paddington back to number 32 Windsor Gardens with them. I'd like you to meet Mrs. Bird who looks after us, said Judy, squeezing Paddington's paw. I think she rather likes you. And this is Jonathan. He's my brother. <laughs> Straight away, Paddington felt at home. I can't wait to tell my Aunt Lucy in Peru, he said. I know she'll be pleased for me. <gasps> Dear Aunt Lucy, you will be pleased to know that I am safe and well. Not only have I arrived in England, but I have an address. I am staying at number 32 Windsor Gardens in London with a very nice family called the Browns. I have my own room and lots to eat. And it's all very exciting. I think I might be here for more than a few days. I do hope so. <coughs> Love from Paddington. P.S. I have had a bath and in case you are wondering, that's my new name. Before long, Jonathan and Judy took Paddington to see Portobello Market nearby. Of all the shop windows he looked at, Paddington liked Mr. Gruber's the best. It was nice and low, so that he could look in without having to stand on tiptoe. And it was full of interesting things. Wow! Shortly after, Jonathan and Judy helped Paddington to draw a map of where they had been, so he'd never get lost. <coughs> it's more complicated than darkest Peru, said Paddington, putting a large X by Mr. Gruber's shop. But I expect I'll get used to it. My map of important places. My room. Number 32 Windsor Gardens Shed Mr. Curry's house A taxi, mostly black Underground station Mr. Gruber's shop Antique shop A bus, mostly red Bun shop hmm. Carts at weekends a few days later, Paddington, keen to test his new map, set off in the direction of the market. I think it's the next turning on the right, he announced, following the route with his paw. Oh! But he was most surprised when he finally rounded a corner and found himself back in Windsor Gardens. You followed some dried marmalade peel on your map by mistake, said Judy. Never mind, she said hastily, seeing Paddington's face. Look what came for you today. Saludos desde Lima, Peru. My dear Paddington, thank you for your letter. I like your new name. It's a great comfort to me to know that you are in safe hands. I'm sending a recipe for a cake that I think you will like. Mm. Love, Aunt Lucy. P.S. Remember that a wise bear always keeps a marmalade sandwich under his hat 
in case of an emergency. <laughs> marmalade sandwich cake. Spread three tablespoons of marmalade over the bottom layer of a ready-made sponge cake. Whip one small pot of double cream until it is soft and thick and dollop over the marmalade. Place the other sponge layer on the top of the cream. Spread sugar icing over the top and decorate with orange slices. Number five. Enjoy! <sighs> Paddington hurried off to share Aunt Lucy's recipe with Mrs. Bird. It's just as well I've already made some extra marmalade for a special occasion, she said mysteriously. <gasps> Paddington nearly fell off his chair with surprise at breakfast the next morning when something dropped out of the newspaper. Free buns! he exclaimed. Mr. Grouper and I could share them for our elevenses. And without even finishing his toast, Paddington set off for the baker's as fast as his legs would carry him. <coughs> Portobello Market. Local events and offers. Free buns inside. Wow! Portobello Market. Local events and offers. Enter now. Best Spring Garden Competition. Special Offer. Cat Price Grocer Cocoa Powder Half Off Free Buns Take the enclosed vouchers to Sunrise Bakery to claim. Hurry, get them while they're warm. Mm. Book Signing A Hundred Marmalade Recipes by O. Peel Meet the author at the library on Tuesday. <coughs> Alf's Prices Coach Tours Bright Sea Day Trips, 50% off. Paddington Station Train Spotters Club, new members welcome. Congratulations to Harold Price and Deirdre Flint of the Cut Price Grocer on their marriage. Is this yours? Rare Peruvian marmalade jar found on Paddington Station. Contact Lost Property Office to claim. Gruber's Antiques, come and see our vintage suitcases and other collectibles. Book now, Alhambra Theatre Variety Show, starring Corkscrew Charlie and other fantastic acts. Oyster Travels, the world is yours, all-inclusive Peru clues. Win, be the talk of the neighbourhood in these Wellington boots. Enter our prize draw now, sponsored by Burkridge's Department Store. What a lovely treat, said Mr. Gruber. There's nothing like a nice chat over a bun and a cup of cocoa. Mm. Paddington, who liked all three, agreed with him. Even though the cocoa did make his whiskers go a funny colour. The next day, Paddington paused on the stairs and sniffed the morning air. There was a strong smell of freshly baked cakes coming from the kitchen, hmm. but his attention soon turned to an envelope standing on the hall table. On the front, in large letters, it said, Paddington. <sighs> Happy birthday! To Paddington, with best wishes for a happy birthday from everyone. It was Mrs. Bird's idea to celebrate your birthday, said Judy. And we're having a party in your honour this afternoon. Wow! Ooh, said Paddington, staring hungrily at the wonderful cake. Is it really for me? One of Mrs. Bird's best. It was covered in sugar icing with a cream and marmalade filling and one candle on the top. It was so tall that Paddington had great difficulty blowing out the candle. But at least he managed it without singeing his whiskers. And everyone applauded him and wished him a happy birthday. <laughs> Altogether, Paddington thought it had been such a wonderful day that he'd need a very special postcard indeed. One of the giant ones from the stationers in the market to tell his Aunt Lucy everything about it. 
Aunt Lucy, home for retired bears, Lima, Peru, South America. Dear Aunt Lucy, this is a very special postcard, so I think you may want to pin it up in the notice board, along with the week's dinner menus. You will never guess what happened to me today. I had a birthday party. Mrs. Bird always says special occasions demand special things, so she made your marmalade cake. Mm. And everyone noticed it was the best they'd ever had. I didn't even have to have a bath. <coughs> best of all, Mr. Brown said it's nice having a bear about the house, and I can stay as long as I like. I think I am going to like it here. Love from Paddington. P.S. Thank you very much for the postcard of Lima Harbour, which you sent with the cake recipe. I'll keep it by the side of the bed in my new room next to your picture. <sighs> when Paddington felt too sleepy to write any more, he lay back and pulled the blankets up around his whiskers. <laughs> It was warm and comfortable, and he sighed contentedly as he closed his eyes. It was nice being a bear, especially a bear called Paddington. The End Hi kids, did you have fun watching this video? Then like and subscribe for more!